I work at a company that doesn't hate its employees, so we use Slack instead of Microsoft Teams. Recently, some of my coworkers have discovered that Slack can display a custom emoji in the HDR color space. So I'll just be going about my day, then open a message from a coworker and have my retinas obliterated into the next dimension by a fully assembled multi-emoji buff doge rendered at max brightness. Now, I'm not saying you should participate in creating and sharing ultra-bright emojis. Hypothetically speaking, if you were to upload a scorchingly bright Hatsune Miku with laser eyes and your boss sees it, that's on you, and you should be prepared to discuss this incident with HR on Monday, apparently. <clears throat> but hey, you could do this. Here's how it works. HDR stands for High Dynamic Range, and it just means that the difference between the darkest part of an image and the lightest part of an image is higher than usual. This means you end up with darker shadows and lighter highlights. By the way, HDR is also a thing for video, and YouTube supports it. This video itself is HDR, so some, but not all of you, will get to experience these emoji and their fully deep-fried and unreasonably bright glory. But here's an example of what an HDR emoji looks like on a screen that does support HDR. See how the rest of the screen appears significantly dimmer? Now, I am not by any means an expert on digital color science or even colors in general. This stuff is pretty complicated. People who actually know what they're doing figured out how to abuse the way that HDR works to make some extremely bright emoji, and they've put this knowledge out onto the internet. I'll link to some resources in the description if you're interested to learn more, but very basically, this is how this HDR trick works with PNG images. When you have an image saved as a PNG file, that file contains the data representing the image itself, but it also contains some information about how the colors for that image should actually be rendered onto a device's screen. So if you modify that extra information, you can alter how the image is displayed, for instance, making it appear much more saturated or much brighter. For this to work right though, you need a monitor that supports HDR, and any programs you want to show in HDR also need to use the right color space and pass along the right metadata telling your monitor how to show the colors. All this to say, these bright emoji won't work everywhere. Mainly, your victims, I mean esteemed colleagues, will need to be using a device whose hardware and software both support HDR. This means your staff engineers, who are probably all using ThinkPads from 2008, will be just fine. Support on Windows machines is spotty at best and hardware dependent, and support on Linux varies by distro and also hardware. This means relatively newer Apple products are pretty much the only ones we can safely assume to all support HDR, and therefore the only ones that we know will show these emoji in eye-watering brightness. MacBooks newer than 2018 all support HDR, so that's a big chunk of devs whose eyeballs are definitely in danger. And mobile devices aren't safe either iPhones from the 12 onward can all support HDR. So yeah, your Apple using coworkers are going to have a bad time. So there are some limits, but here's another fun fact. For devices that do support HDR, there's no easy way to disable this capability on Slack without changing your monitor's entire color profile. You can disable HDR just for Slack temporarily, but you have to launch it with a command line argument to force sRGB mode, and that only works until the next restart. So let's assume you do want to create unreasonably bright images. What are your options? Well, like I mentioned before, the image file format matters. You're going to want a PNG for this. PNGs support 16 bits per color channel, more than the minimum of 10 for HDR, so that's great. Crucially though, PNGs also support embedding an ICC color profile right in the image file itself, which contains metadata about how the device should actually display the colors from the image. So PNGs with identical image data can appear on a screen very differently, depending on how the embedded ICC profile specifies the colors should appear on the device's display. This helpful command from sharpletters.net that was on Hacker News a few weeks ago allows you to take an image file, increase the contrast, and embed an ICC profile that tells devices to render your image at extreme brightness. I personally find the most disruptive colors to be a light purple or maybe orange, both if you're feeling really obnoxious. You'll also want an image that's close to square for uploading to Slack. Once you've got your image picked out, just run that command and you've got yourself a certified weapons grade emoji ready to ruin your coworkers' days. So this is already great for obliterating productivity and your eyeballs, but can we take this further? I think it'd be really amazing to get an animated image, because the only thing I can think of that's more annoying than a really bright image is one that's really bright and also moves. Let's give that a go. 
The only image formats you can upload to Slack are JPEG, PNG, GIF, and WebP. JPEG is out because it only does 8 bit per channel color, HDR needs at least 10, and it also doesn't support animations. GIF and WebP do move, so they seem like reasonable contenders, but GIFs are limited to 256 colors total, and WebP is 8 bits per channel, so it also can't support HDR. That leaves still just PNGs. But wait a minute, you may be thinking PNGs don't move. Well, you're right, but APNGs, the A is for animated, do move. And animated PNGs can still just have the .png file extension, so we can still upload them to Slack. Before even frying this image, I'm just going to try uploading the raw image that we know is animated to Slack and see if that works to test APNG support, and then we'll try frying it. Upload to Slack, cool, it uploads and bounces around in the preview. Let's refresh, and yeah, it doesn't move. So unfortunately, with APNGs not appearing to work on Slack, I don't think there's a way to upload a custom emoji that actually move. This means we can't animate a flashbang, for instance, which honestly is probably for the best. These are disruptive enough without moving. Yeah, so super bright emojis are a thing that exist, at least until Slack adds the option to not show HDR colors. Like I mentioned before, I don't know of a good way to turn these off on Apple devices that support HDR without launching Slack from the command line, or doing something drastic like switching to Windows. I guess you could also just do something like use Slack on an external monitor, which probably doesn't support HDR. So yeah, that's a fun way to mildly inconvenience your coworkers and subtract just a little bit of shareholder value. Thanks for watching.